Hi Coopers! This tutorial is on how to do a wedgie, which is kind of like a combination of different uh, escalator tricks, so things like that. But this is kind of a different variation on that, the leg movement is a little bit different, so um, yeah, you've probably seen a lot of people doing this, wondering, you know, how the fuck do I get into that, right? So, um, that's why I'm here. So, anyway, um, there's a couple of different variations. You can do breaks, there's lots of stuff you can do with this. So, I'm just going to start with the most basic, which is um, just from a standing position and the hoop is still. So, you want to have your right leg behind the hoop and take your left leg, put the thigh over it, and the shin behind. So now I'm standing here and the hoop is touching my left ankle and my right thigh, right at the top. So if you pull back on this, you'll feel kind of like a tension. And that's the momentum, the letting go of that is the momentum that you're going to use to repel it upward. So kind of similar to, um, to doing an escalator. So what you want to do is pull back and you'll see it might kind of get it kind of caught around your legs. But if you keep your legs in the same place, you'll notice that it'll kind of swing up, get stuck between your thighs, and then come back down again. Oh. But that's the basis for doing, um, for doing the wedgie and for doing wedgie uh, uh, breaks. So you'll notice that I'm kind of switching my legs like this, and that'll really help. So I start out with uh, my left leg bent, and then I switch my right leg being bent. So as you start pushing back and letting it come up, you'll kind of get the feel for that, and you can kind of practice letting it hit your back. So I'll do this from the side. And you'll notice that it's kind of hitting my upper back, and it starts to come over to my right hand. So that gives you basically an idea of uh, how to get started. So that's how you do uh, the wedgie breaks. And if you want your wedgie to go um, all the way up, it looks something like that. So what you'll notice is that I kind of let my leg come out of the hoop. So again, starting off, left thigh in front, pull back, and I'm putting my leg in. So I'll do that slow motion. There we go. So keep practicing. And what's going to end up happening is that you want to bring your right arm up towards your head. And what's going to happen is that when the hoop comes around your body, you can kind of catch it with your right arm. Sometimes that happens. There you go. So you kind of have to be creative because sometimes it won't go exactly the right way that you want it to. But um, the more you practice, the easier it'll get. And eventually, what you can do is as soon as the hoop is hitting your right arm, you kind of bring your arm up, which will allow the hoop to like come up like this. So you'll see when I'm doing this kind of like a full from uh, from the ground all the way up here, just in slow motion. I'm uh, guiding my arm up like this and guiding the hoop up with it so that I can grab it. My top of my hand is facing inside. And here you'll notice that I'm at the top of an escalator, so you can kind of combine them like this, too. So, um, lots of different combos that you can do with that. Um, and obviously this works with uh, the other leg, too. So, if you want to do this on the other leg, it's left leg behind, right thigh over the top, right ankle behind, pressing back through left hand, switch, and up it comes. So, um, the other thing that I wanted to go over was, uh, um, was kind of this rolling 
or like toss wedgie thing, which looks like this. Oh, I get right. Like that. So um, this requires you to toss the hoop, bring it back to you, um, and then to stop it between your legs. So you really want to make sure that you're comfortable with that um, stepping in and behind motion. So once you really have that down, it'll be easy for you to do this. So practice throwing it and getting it to come back to you and stopping it between your legs. It's the first step. So it won't always go easily. Um, your best bet is to not send it too far from you so that it comes back slower. That'll give you um, kind of like some more time, it doesn't seem so fast paced, you know. And then what you can start practicing is trying to stop it with your uh, left leg coming over and in. Like that. And eventually, you can work up to getting it there. And then what you're going to do is this is a no hands thing. So you just have to use the momentum of the hoop coming back to you. And your, uh, and your leg to kind of push it forward. So that looks like this. Oh, not like that. <laughs> kind of sloppy, but you get the idea. So I'll write this down a little bit. So I've stopped in here, and now since I'm not using my hand, I'm using my right leg to push forward and then to step into it. Like that. But really, um, it's this right thigh here that's doing it. So I'll do this from uh, another angle here. Ooh. From the front looks like this. So you notice that I'm still kind of guiding the hoop up. It doesn't go all the way up uh, all the time on its own. There we go. So really there you're using the momentum of the moving hoop, squeezing it and not letting all the momentum go, but um, kind of harnessing it and using your right leg to kind of push it up. Obviously you can get pretty creative with all kinds of different twisty things. Um, there's a tutorial out there um, for doing a like continuous no-handed one. So that's kind of like, I'm not even sure how she does that. It's like a flip, you're flipping it up, bending at the knee, letting it get caught, and then it's like the same thing over that way. So you kind of have to like, there we go. And that would be your uh, no-handed continuous coming over to the other side thing. So I um, hope you enjoyed that and that helped you get all those cool new moves down. So good luck. Happy hooping.